Hola Unconventionals, I'm Amelia. And I'm JP. And we're sharing our unconventional life with you from Ecuador. A lot of our viewers have been asking about Ayangue, Ecuador, which is located about 30 minutes south of Olón, about halfway to La Libertad. So we hopped in a cab to go check it out and see if we think it's a good spot for expats. Several things surprised us about Ayangue, Ecuador, and we're going to talk about them in this video. Yes, but before we do, if you're curious about life in magical Ecuador, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell please, because we show you what it's really like to live in Ecuador. All right, now for the things that surprised us about Ayangue, and the first one was the beach is incredibly beautiful. I'm always surprised by how different each beach is along the coast of Ecuador and Ayangue's beach was really unusual to me because the water was so much calmer than it is in Alone and the water was such a beautiful shade of blue. It's really pretty. Yes, it's a south facing bay so you don't get those big waves off of the Pacific Ocean like we get here in Olón. And the water was really blue, it wasn't that deep. And we heard that it was un poco calientita from some ladies that got in the water, which means it's, the water was pretty warm. Another thing that surprised us about Ayangue is the different variety of water sports, especially compared to Alone, where it's mainly surfing and playing in the waves. Yes, and you can definitely swim in Ayangue, as well as do all kinds of other things like snorkeling and diving and even whale watching. Yeah, I was surprised. I thought the only place you can go whale watching was Puerto Lopez because they have the big pier, but that is not the case. thing that surprised us about Ayangue is that it has a nice cute little malecone and it appears to be relatively new. Yeah, there were lots of restaurants and places to get drinks and do some shopping in that area as well as take your picture by the Ayangue sign. They also have a lot of small little tiendas and mercaditos and there are two ATMs. One is from Jep and the other is from Banco Guayaquil. Another thing that surprised us is we didn't see a lot of dogs and cats on the street. Yeah, we're used to seeing a lot more, especially here in Alone and when we travel to other towns. Yeah, so that was kind of a surprise that there weren't not that many. Another thing that surprised us was the limited types of businesses, especially compared to Alone. Yes, here in Alone we have an internet cafe, 
We have a co-working space, tattoo shop, lots of barber shops, coffee shops. We just have a lot of different types of businesses here. Same is true for restaurants. In Ayangue, it's more of the traditional Ecuadorian food, and we did see a couple pizza places, but here in Along we have a variety of options. We were also really surprised by the climate. It's very desert-like there, especially compared to Alone, which is much more tropical. Yeah, it definitely felt drier there and it's not as lush. There are a lot of beautiful flowering trees and flowers though. And the air is very dry and so were our eyeballs. It surprised me because we're really not that far from each other since we're only 30 minutes away. The last thing that surprised us is that we didn't see very many expats there, especially compared to how many we see here in Alone. We know a couple people from the United States that live there and they absolutely love it. And I'm not surprised because it's super tranquilo and just absolutely beautiful. We did see some expat oriented housing and some new places under construction. It's also conveniently located to La Libertad. I think it's about a 25 minute drive and then you are there with all the modern conveniences including shopping and hospitals and good healthcare, etc. And it's easy to take a taxi because they had a taxi stand with lots of cabs available. If your goal is to learn Spanish, it would be a really good immersion program to live there for a while because we didn't notice a lot of English speakers. We do think Ayangue is a good option if you want the tranquilo beach lifestyle and you want the modern conveniences. Yeah, it's definitely much closer to the modern conveniences than we are. And it's also a really good option if you want to be more fully immersed in the Ecuadorian culture. All right, I think that's all we have for this video. If you liked it, leave us a thumbs up, please. Hope you have an unconventional day and we will see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.